A video is nothing more than a large number of images. A digital video refers to the capturing, manipulation and storage of moving images so that they can be viewed or displayed on computer screens. There are a lot of advantages of, to digital video. For example, um, the ease of manipulation. We can edit videos, um, digital videos much easier using computer software and add subtitles and make changes to it. Um, we can, second is we can store it you know, easily. We, we don't have to rely on tapes alone. We can put it on hard drives, CDs and you know, USB drives if we need to. And we can share the same video over the internet several times without having to send tapes or anything. It just it doesn't lose any quality. And the you know, fourth and most important one is compression. So we can uh, reduce the size of a file or increase it um, depending on how we want to use that video. So for the internet, we use a smaller um, size, and for CDs, a, a little bit better quality. We talked about being able to compress a digital video. A codec stands for compression and decompression. So we compress it before transmitting or storing it, and we decompress it before transcoding or viewing it. So compression makes the size, the file size much smaller. For example, if I take a, free, you know, a photo with my phone alone, um, one, just one image by itself will be uh, about 1 MB. Now, in, e in, in a video there are at least you know, 25 or 30 frames per second. So multiplied by 30, that is 30 megabytes. And then 35, multiply that by 60 seconds, we have a 1.7 gig video. That's why we need compression to be able to send video across or stream it. So if we were to attach 10 images to an email, it would, you know, we wouldn't be able to send it because the, the data size would be far greater than 10 MB. Now, how can we send a one minute video which has a lot more images to, to send across by compressing it? Because there are a lot of similarities be from one frame to another frame. For example, where I'm standing right now, what the things that are moving are just my hands. And those are the only differences. All of the background around me and most of my body is still. So when we compress, we, we compress the differences between the first frame and the second frame. Only the differences. And we take all the similarities you know, as, as one. Examples of codec are um, H.264, MPEG-4, MPEG-2, you know, those, those are codecs that we use to encode a video or, and decode a video. The H.264 or MPEG-4 part 10 is one of the most commonly used codec these days. We talked about compression, but when we get a video, it, usually the name ends, it doesn't end with H.264, um, it ends with MOV, it ends with um, WMB, it ends with FLB, uh, things like that. And so what are those? Yeah. Those are containers. So a video for it has a lot of other information other than the video itself, which is um, audio, you know, the synchronization information, there might be some subtitles, and there might be chapter information in that video. So um, a container puts all of these together and then they can display it. So different containers can usually have a lot of different codecs. So let's say MOV, which is a QuickTime um, um, container, they, it can, it can play a very a variety of uh, you know uh, file or videos that can that are encoded with MPEG and you know um, or MPEG two, MPEG one, um, H two six four, but the co the container includes all of those. So a video container usually has all the you know audio and the video information so that it can play it together. So it, it's a, it's different from a codec. Some people confuse a codec with a container. A codec simply compresses and decompresses a file or, or a video uh, and then the, um, the container puts all the information together and makes it presentable. So 
while you might be using MOV, it will still be encoded with H.264. For example, the same file that is encoded with H.264 um, encoder, uh, it is it can be viewed by you know WMV, um, MOV or FLV, whatever container that you use.